Another type of transference, and this also comes from uh, Dr. Spotnitz, was called anaclytic countertransference. Well, we talked about countertransference. Countertransference, uh, those are the feelings that the therapist has for the patient. And I know we talked about in the past subjective and objective. Subjective being things from my past as a therapist that may affect how I relate to the patient. Objective are just, if we had 10 psychoanalysts in this room, uh, all with one patient, they'd all have the same feeling. That's objective countertransference. But the anaclytic countertransference is something different, and it develops over time. Uh, and the thought is that a patient is missing something in their development years in their relationship with their uh, parents. They're not aware of it. They don't talk about it. It's not presented in their history. But that as time goes on, the analyst starts to get a feeling that something was missing and starts to give that feeling to the patient, which becomes maturational. So it, it's an interesting concept. Uh, Dr. Spotnitz said it doesn't happen for many years that that becomes evident in the treatment. But it, it really, uh, I've seen it happen where something was missing, not conveyed in any way, shape, or form, and the analyst starts to have those feelings for the patient and give those feelings to the patient. So it's very helpful.